say to left, just straight, keep his body straight. Keep the flexion of the bed, controlling his body straight and teaching him that he doesn't need his neck to move. He can actually move through his body and his back without using his neck. And again, long side, little, yep, little flexion and bend on the straight line. And what I'd say to Jamie is, don't think about doing the half pass until you can control the flexion and the bend and the straight line going straight. And again, that's it. And we might, the next time around, we might do one coming this way for these people to see. Yep, inside leg. That's it. Just keep him flexed and bent, controlling his body straight. So if you just want to make a little loop around, and we're going to do it one towards you. Just getting control on the flexion and the bend required for the half pass prior to going sideways and making it a little more difficult. Okay, she's ahead of me. She's doing half pass. It's great. And a good one, mind you, I might say. Track to the right. Yep. And again, let's do another half pass. So again, straight line with bend, control, and then sideways. Now, to take him sideways, you want to try to take the front legs sideways before you bump the hind legs in behind. A half pass is not about pushing them off your leg. It's about taking them in shoulders first and then putting the hind legs in behind. Jamie, let's try one where we come this way, coming towards these guys, or even away from these guys, just giving them a look at what it is. So first of all, you have got a lot of room there, but first of all, starting straight line with bend first, just turn the shoulder, straight line with bend first of all, just control, straight line with bend, straight line, no, no, okay. So next time we'll do a, just a straight line, just straight with flexion and bend, control it. Again, but just going towards these guys on a straight line with flexion and bend. So now turn, shoulders, turn his front legs, turn his front legs, don't turn with your legs, turn his front legs. Yeah, okay. So getting foot perfect control and control on every vertebra in this horse's spine. That's what we're after. And again, long side, straight line with bend to a half pass. Straight, keep his body straight. This is the hard part. Huh? It's really hard because if you use your legs to turn on a dressage horse, you end up with horses carrying sideways like that. And that's the thing. Well, I read about on about in my clinic. You need front leg control and hind leg control. Okay. Should we try some pirouettes? So, ultimate in collection in canter is to be able to come back and do a pirouette. So now, we really need to close the canter up. Stay around here, me on the circle. Now we're going to come into what we call a working pirouette. Now bring him back, a little more left rein. Bring him back on the hind leg, right back. On the outside rein, bring him right back on the hind leg. Don't be scared to close him up. Really bring him back. Yeah, and now keep his shoulders out and push his hind legs in. So take your hands to the outside. Take both hands to the left, yeah. And now think of it back in your body. That's it. You know, flexion and bend, left rein, left. You see how he's wanting to fall sideways? Take your outside leg away. And just stay on the circle. Stay in here. Yeah. Come back again. Bring him on the hind leg. And try not to use too much outside leg to push him sideways. Bring him right back. Right back. On the hind leg. That's good. Flexion and bend to the inside. Hands to the outside. Outside leg a little bit back. Now think about a rein back in your body. Think about rein back. Bring him back. Not too much outside leg, not too much. Bring him back, really bring him back. Make a transition to walk. Voice, and now stay and walk and do a pirouette in the same way. Really think back in your body. Yeah. Good. That's good. And now ask for candor from the inside leg. Yeah, candor, yep, doesn't matter. And now keep him back on the hind leg, bring him back. Yes, exactly. Yeah, good, now yeah, you've got it. Feel the balance and keep turning. Wait, ask him to wait, balance. Yeah, super. Now turn the shoulders. Turn your body, turn the shoulders. Doesn't matter, keep going. Turn the shoulders, turn your hands. Yeah, okay. And when we talk about strength in dressage, you can see, that's okay, go out if you like. You can see. You can see that horse struggling behind because he's just not strong enough.
enough just yet. He will get strong enough. But at the moment, all of these little evasions and wobbliness that's happening there is coming because he's not quite strong enough. He's not developed enough. That's not saying he's not going to get there. It's time. And that's why dressage takes so long. Let's go the other way. Let's come.